Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get better FPS, optimize your PC for better performance in Valorant's new episode 5 act 2. So make sure to watch this video till the end and also don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below for better opinion. I'll respond to each of your comments personally and also if you face any other problems other than these or if your problem is not covered in this video please leave it in the comments below i will surely try to make dedicated videos on all of them and with all that said let's get started Right, so the really first step is creating a restore point and this is really simple. First press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. Once you are in here, select any local disk which says system over here. Most probably it will be local disk C. Then simply click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on OK and then click on create. Now name it Valorant so that you can remember it. And once you're done with that, simply click on create and let it do its job. The main job of making system protection is because you have to safeguard yourself from anything happening to your computer. So if anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it's done, simply click on close and then let's move to the other steps. All right, next most important step is press your Windows key and then search for game mode. And then simply press enter and go to game mode settings. Now in here, make sure that game mode is enabled and then go down into your graphics. All right, so once you're in graphics, make sure to click on browse and then paste the install location of Valorant. Simply go to uh, Riot Games folder, go to Valorant, go to live and then add Valorant.exe. Simply click on add. Now I've already added it in here, so as you guys can see. Simply go to options and then click on high performance and then simply click on save. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings. And now let's move to the next part. Next step is downloading the Valorant E5A2. That is the episode five act two FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, extract and open this thing up and you'll find in four folders. First one is PC optimization. Then you have RAM optimization. Then we have MSI utility V3. And last one is Valorant priority. Simply open up the PC optimization and in here you'll find in six of the registry files. You can simply right click and then go to show more options click on edit and you can see everything that's gonna change in your pc and none of this is gonna harm your pc but still if you guys are afraid we have already made a restore point so over here just make sure that you do not skip the restore point if anything goes wrong you can always restore it back to normal i highly recommend you guys to run all of these registries and once you're done with that go to ram optimization and we have a lot of presets over here now to find the ram in your pc simply press the windows key and then search for system information in here look up for your installed physical memory for me it's 16 gb it can be different for you but i'm going to be selecting the 16 gb ram registry and then simply double click and run this thing now both of these optimization registries are changing significant amount of settings in your pc which are really important so this is completely your choice if you want to do it or not if you trust it you can do it if you don't you can skip it third folder which is the msi utility v3 and i highly recommend you guys to do this thing because it's gonna do a lot of performance boost simply right click and then run this as administrator now once you have opened it up you can look up for your graphics card for me it's over here basically the third last option simply click on undefined and go to high then simply click on apply and then close it now go back and for the final foremost important folder that is the valorant priority and also i request you guys to do this thing simply double click and run valorant high priority registry once you're done with that you are very very done with the fps pack feel free to close it the next step is using exit lag and i highly recommend you guys to use exit lag so click the link in the description below and download exit lag i highly recommend you guys to do it once you are on the site simply click on the free three days trial you do not need any credit card to sign up for that simply download and install exit lag and it should look like this once exit lag opens up you can find a list on the left side it has over 250 games to choose from simply search for valorant and then add it in here select the game region for me it's gonna be mumbai 01 it can be different for you so look up for your region and then apply routes once you're done with that simply go to tool section and then go to fps boost section enable the third fourth and the second last option and once you're done with that simply minimize exit lag and let it run in the background once again exit lag is pro's choice and it is not free to use you have to get a subscription for exit lag and you can get monthly semi-annual or quarterly subscription as you want they have a lot of payment methods to accept choose the one that you are comfortable with you can get monthly semi-annual or quarterly as i said and it's relatively cheap it's relatively 
relatively cheap for the quality of gameplay that you're gonna get so consider buying exit lag it's my personal preference and if these amounts are too high for you you can use code bearfox20 to get flat 20% off on your first purchase so choose wisely right, once you're done with everything simply open valorant and let's do the best in game settings all right so once you are in game simply go to your settings and then go to your video section now in here display mode should always be full screen resolution should always be your native resolution for your monitor i highly recommend you guys to go with the primary monitor then um, turn all of these options to off nvidia reflex low latency go with on plus boost then go to graphics quality and make sure that multi-threaded rendering is turned on all of these are turned off fxaa anti-aliasing should be fxaa or you can go with none if you have a low-end pc for anisotropic filtering i highly recommend you guys with one and all of the other things should be set to off once you're done with that you are ready to play the game with best settings possible all right guys i hope this guide has helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot and thanks a lot for 60,000 subscribers i seriously do appreciate you guys a lot we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out